Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 14th, 2020. If you decide that you like this content, if you subscribe, that helps me out a ton. And of course, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com and check out my courses over at Gumroad. I'm going to be having lots of extra content over there, so get on over there and check it out. Now, this week feels like some people are just like wanting to give up and just sort of unplug. It, it's, um, I would say this is that sort of like going into zombie mode. Like, uh, I don't know that anything like incredible happens, but I think people are in a space now where they're just like, I, I can't, nope, just nope, I don't, nope. <laughs> Stop telling me about these things, I'm done. Well, the message that's coming through is that this is an important time because that is, I don't want to call it a breaking point, but it is the moment where the system kind of shuts down a little bit, so to speak. And we get ready for that clarity that we've been wanting and hoping for to come on in. And we might not like what we see. We might not like what we realize, what was there in front of us the entire time. Of course, things are going to be revealed. I don't know in just this week, but as time goes on, we're going to figure out, you know, there are going to be people in the news who were doing things behind the scenes that you never could have imagined. Um, and I think a lot of people are just realizing, okay, there's more to come. And it's that uneasiness around that knowing that gets everyone to just kind of zero out a little bit and say, okay, enough, enough, right? So how can you handle this? Well, it's what we've been saying this entire time when we are too hung up on the externals. And I know I'm like that too. I like, you know, I'm a very um, practical, efficient person. People don't really know that about me, but when I get up, I wanna feel like I'm making the most of every single day, <laughs> right? So I get up and I do tend to get a list in my head of all the things that I wanna get done for the day. And you know, it, it does sometimes take a moment where I feel like, um, you know, I'm trying to get something done, but I have to go through these other people and they're not being cooperative. They're making things about them and, you know, playing victim and all this stuff. And it, <laughs> to me, I'm like, okay, this is wasting time right now. Like, why are you complaining to me about having to do your job? You know, kind of thing. So I find myself getting irritated by that and I have to stop and go, is this worth it? Is this worth it? This isn't right. This isn't cool that these people are behaving like this, but... Who am I, right? And I have to come into my heart and breathe into it. And I don't make up any sort of compassionate story about, oh, they must be having a bad day. You know, that's still us as humans not really getting it yet. But rather, I don't try to put a story around it. I just come into my heart. I breathe through it. And I'm like, really, what is the worst case scenario in this situation? I, that thing doesn't get done. Will the world end? No? All right then let's move on. <laughs> let's move on and get back into peace, get back into happiness. So whatever we can do in the coming weeks to not get thrown into the chaos, to not get thrown into the worry, the stress. Again, that's not being in denial and pretending like it's not there, but rather um, learning how to process it in a healthier way. Okay. So learning how to get through it like that, as opposed to trying to push on it, force it. Watch, uh, you know, fighting with family members because you have something you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, bulldozing. Don't bulldoze over people, <laughs> right? So this is where tensions might start kind of rumbling a little bit. And then there could be this moment that sort of erupts. And this moment that erupts, it's something that's been there for a while. It's something that has been unhealed. Do not take it out on children. I'm telling you what, do not take it out on children. Not ever. It's not their fault. Okay. Be there for the kids. Make sure they feel comfortable and everything else will kind of fall into place. But we're really learning to get comfortable with the messiness, if that makes sense. We have to get comfortable with not knowing. We have to get comfortable with things not looking the way we thought. We have to get comfortable with the idea that there could be another shocker around the corner. And that's what we're getting prepped for. I think I said that last week as well. We're getting prepped for 
these big revealing kinds of moments. And it's going to be reveals around our society and how we function and, and what's behind that. And um, what have we given into? And it's easy to do. It's easy to do. You know, all of us can give over to an idea. How easy is it for someone to convince you to buy something? You know, through ads or you get a really charismatic salesperson and they're in your face telling you how great this is and you have to have this and then you get smacked on the hand because you purchased something that you shouldn't have or you have debt or, you know, you, you should have spent this money over here instead of there. You know, it's this weird push-pull that's messing with our minds. And that's just one example. I mean, there are so many others. Here's all this food. Eat this food. If, especially if you live in America. Here's all this fast food. Here's the biggest portion you can imagine. Eat it, eat it, eat it. It's so good. It's so good. It's cute if you eat this, right? <laughs> if you're a woman, right? It's cute if you can eat this. And then, oh, you're fat. And so you need these diet pills. And you need this diet program. And you need... Right. So, like, see what I'm saying? Like, we're going to start waking up to this. And there could be a moment where we sit there and we just feel like... Oh man, like, how did I fall for that? How did I get into that? Try not to blame. Try not to go down the road of guilt or shame. It's not about that. But at least you know now. At least we can release it and move on. Let's get onto the cards. Okay, so let's see what we have going on. do it right there what do we have we have the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini what did i say there are things that are going to be revealed that you know they get revealed but it triggers a revelation and understanding within you so really you're the one who ends up piecing it all together that's the other thing we got to watch because we're expecting everything to be spoon fed to us now nah. <laughs> nope it's going to be right there in your face and when you start waking up to it it's going to be like whoa okay but now i want to take a different approach so the answers you need are coming and that means those realizations that we've been talking about are coming and how can you take a different approach how can you take a healthier more inspired action as opposed to an action that is out of desperation fear manipulation you know all that be bold and make the first move cardinal moon mm -hmm. This might be you flat out saying, I refuse to participate in the push-pull. I refuse to allow myself to be brainwashed. I refuse to be a part of a toxic situation, uh, whether that's a relationship or a job or you need to work out some family issues, you know, get people help. And let's be careful with, you know, punishing kids for acting out. Like, if they need help, get them help, all right? Yelling at them and screaming at them is not going to do it. Be careful with the kids. All right, be careful with the kids. So be bold and make the first move. Make that decision for yourself. Decide what you will partake in and what you won't. And it doesn't mean that you have to get out there and get attention for that decision. You don't have to stand on top of a car, you know, screaming at the top of your lungs so everyone can understand what choices you're going to make. But <laughs> have a quiet, quiet sense of turning for yourself, okay? A win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. So again, it's not about fighting one another. It's not about pushing your opinion onto someone else, but allowing you to adjust to what's right for you and allowing others to come to their own understanding in their own good time. We can't force anything. We can't force other people to do what we want. And uh, we have to get a more balanced approach. So... <laughs> I just heard your mysticism won't work. Your mysticism won't work. So, because there are the pure, I'm going to use this word loosely, mystics, okay? It's coming up, so I'll just use it. So, like, there are, like, the pure mystics, and then there are the, uh, the mimicking mystics. We talk about this all the time. It's about the false guru, you know, and we want to be very, very careful with that. So, nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course moon because we need to change course 
We cannot keep going in the way we always have. It's going to break down, it's gonna break open, and we're all gonna fall apart if we don't start taking care of this on a very, very deep heart level. So what do we do? We gotta choose, <laughs> gotta choose spirit. We have to choose, um, you know, not to let the mind control us, yes? And that means coming down to worry, stress, you know, getting irritated with people who just want to whine and play victim all the time. And that in turn takes attention away from people who really need help. Let's see what we have here. There it is. I always wonder if this is going to be like a cosmic card, and it is. So it's indigo. What does it say? Indigo, improve your vision. <laughs> 40 uh, is the number. Uh, so again, you're, we're getting clarity on what we're seeing, and it is coming from a divine source, or what we're calling a divine source. This could also be about expansion, expanded awareness, understanding our truest nature as human beings. But we have to tap into Now, this is about the third eye. Yes. So that third eye is, uh, it's powerful, but it's not, <laughs> it's not at full power. Okay. It's not at full function. If you are not connected into the heart space, all of this needs to be online, right? So I think we have some messages coming through and this is, yeah, they're saying for the collective. It's not just about the individual anymore. We can't just, you know, be in our little shell and say, I'm just going to work for me. And that's it. We have to start acknowledging that everything we ping out is coming back to us. When we ping out these things we call angels, these beings we call angels, it's part of us coming back, reflecting back. And there's going to be more and more understanding around that as well. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.